have a management failure disclosure to make. I detected an odor of ammonia. Effective yesterday, we started our new winter schedule, which means that we shouldn't be publishing a video today. If you missed the announcement, the new winter schedule is we're posting videos Tuesday through Saturday. And that's just until spring when things get really moving here again on the homestead. But the reason why I'm publishing this video today is tomorrow, January 23rd, I am hosting an event with Paul Wheaton and I'm going to be tied up with that all day. I believe I'm going to be generating a lot of video content from my day tomorrow. And I was able to capture some content over this last weekend that I wanted to share with you guys and there wasn't really a way for me to work that content in with the Paul Wheaton event tomorrow. I'll make it one video. So I'm publishing that content we got over the weekend in this standalone video. Earlier today, we did our first live streaming event. We were featured on the Pratt Family Homestead, their new channel, not channel, um, their new, what do you call Format? it? The Pratt Family Homestead is starting a new series called Homestead Chat featuring fill in the blank and we were the first ever guest on that which was really cool how do you think it went it was a lot of fun yeah we had a lot yeah. of fun you said I was a little too chatty though right yeah. I have a management failure disclosure to make this morning when I came out to feed the chickens when I went into the greenhouse <laughs> I detected an odor of ammonia. I believe it was Harvey Ussery's book, The Small Scale Poultry Flock. It's kind of like the book version of permaculture chickens. It's pretty much everything you need to know about raising chickens in a book. I read it a long time ago and in it I was reading that if you're smelling ammonia in your chicken coop, it's already kind of a problem. The birds have a much more sensitive respiratory system that they've been smelling that ammonia for a lot longer before us as humans can detect it. The problem is it's really bad for the birds to breathe. The ammonia buildup comes from an abundance of nitrogen, in this case manure from the chickens, and not enough carbon to combine with the nitrogen to compost. Using the deep litter method is a really great way to mitigate any problems with ammonia buildup for housing the chickens over winter, but it's really important to stay on top of it, and apparently I haven't added enough wood shavings in there. Originally my plan was to be using wood chips all winter, that didn't quite work out. My wood chips are frozen under a pile of snow. So I've been using pine shavings, but apparently I haven't been doing enough of it. Up until today, everything has smelled fine in there. When I go in the greenhouse, there's no foul odors. It just smells chickeny. You know, it, it's not offensive or anything like that. But today there was enough odor of ammonia in there for me to detect. So that means I'm not doing a good enough job keeping the bedding in there. <laughs> One of our viewers, Angela Aragon from Nicaragua, messaged me to let me know that the pine shavings might be causing a problem for me down the road. She told me that pine is allopathic and also will cause the soil to acidify. I'm not so much concerned about the pH level of the soil. Allopathic means that it's a plant species that secretes through its roots or in some cases it's in the bark or the leaves the nut, whatever it might be on the tree, it has a chemical in it that inhibits the growth of other plant species around it. I was not aware of that and the situation I'm in now is I need to get carbon in there fast for the carbonaceous diaper and to keep that ammonia smell down. So I'm just gonna use the pine shavings again but hopefully we can get the wood chips in action soon. Once we get a really good compost going in there, I really think those allopathic chemicals as well as any pH imbalances will resolve themselves through compost. What did you guys do to your nesting box? Sheesh. I was hoping with the vent window and the door being open all day that the ammonia smell would be gone, but I still detect it a little bit.
Monday, January 22nd, and the chicken porch got to see some action last night. Check it out. We did get some snow last night. Not a tremendous amount, but you can see that there's some accumulation on the plastic above the chicken porch here. And you can see their actual porch or patio area here, the floor is devoid of snow. For the last several days, our high temperatures have been above freezing, so we've been going through this thawing phase here. We've had a tremendous amount of snow slough off the roof and come crashing down. And this side of the screened in porch already has the snow melting on it. The outside of the greenhouse here is getting thawed out pretty well. And with the sun out this morning, it's actually pretty warm here in the greenhouse. It is 50 degrees Fahrenheit inside the greenhouse, 36 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And just as expected, the chooks did an amazing job spreading all these pine shavings out that I put in here last night. And the smell, the ammonia smell is gone. It's nice and fresh and piney in here. Irish spring. And then after morning tours, we took little buddy skiing. His Aunt Jessica was visiting last week and he wasn't able to go skiing with us when we took her because the beginner slope chairlift was down. So after chores, we suited up and headed to the mountain. We all had a lot of fun. It was a really nice day for skiing. Again, we have the Paul Wheaton event going on tomorrow, so stay tuned, check back for a lot of cool Paul Wheaton content. He's agreed to sit down and give me an interview. I need to actually work on the questions I'm gonna ask him, but it should be a really cool event, so stay tuned, check it out. And just one last thing, if you guys are enjoying our channel and you're not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing. It would help us out a lot, and we'd greatly appreciate it.